we make this presentation, the media conference, to show what's going on, what's going on with the Agra Alliance, and this is a long-term project, not only for a short time, and uh, I like to support, to help the, my friends, and especially the young, talented player who are playing for Agra Alliance. What is specifically your role in the partnership? Uh, my experience. I think everybody know uh, I'm long time in the football business and uh, I think I give, uh, can give idea but I don't like to go in the daily job because I am not living here, I am not every day with the team. For this uh, important, we have a very good coach from England. He's making an amazing job in the last one and a half years. And uh, he improved the team, he improved the players. And uh, everybody know, in by the Agro Alliance, when they need some help, when they need some support, or when I can give them uh, advice, I am always uh, available. You live in Germany with your yes. family. How consistent are you going to be with this partnership? Uh, so far as uh, coming to Ghana is concerned. Yeah, but uh, the, the thing is, uh, I am in uh, contact every day. I can watch all the games in Germany from the Accra Alliance. I was watching many games, especially the last uh, Saturday when they won 3-0 against the first. And uh, I see we have young players. Sure, they're not stable for all season, but uh, they have high quality. And we have a good uh, training center, good facilities. And uh, especially what I told you before, we have a good coach and he improves the players and uh, I follow uh, everything what's going on on the field and around the field what means uh, Accra Lions. What's the Accra Lions project? What would you be would you like to be remembered for? Uh, for me it's not important uh, result for me it's all important the performance and the improving from the players. Sure when we make the first place I'm not unhappy but uh, this is not the reason why I am, uh, invest uh, money in the Accra Lions. I like the style from the club how the politics from the club, how they like to walk with a young talented player because I think you have to start early to make the player better. When you're 20, 21, it, they're too old and we have players in the first team, they are 15, 16 years old, they're playing in the, in the youth team and uh, in the national teams and I think this uh, can be the way and I like the style, how the Agra Lions perform on the field. Some years back your name came up in the Black Stars coaching job. Do you think there's an opportunity for you to once again resurface? No, no, no. I have a different life. I, you told I live in Germany. I work for the TV. I'm a colleague from you. I have a TV contracts, sponsor contracts. My family is living in, in Germany. I have a all nine-year-old son. He needs his father close to him. And uh, sure, I, I, I can travel, but I cannot uh, move from Germany somewhere all around the world. This uh, my main base is in Germany, where is living my family. You narrated a story of playing with racket boots and clothes. Uh, how, how did you make it? What? You narrated a story of playing with rough boots and then uh, wearing, uh, I mean, torn clothes and all that for, uh, for, 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 for your upbringing, during your upbringing. Yes, uh, I, I like to tell you only I, I know where I come from. And uh, my life was the same, not so easy in the 60s, in the 70s, when, when I was a boy and liked to play football. I had the same handicaps. Handicap, uh, what the kids don't have today in Germany, because they have the best fields, they have the best coaches. I didn't have a professional coach. I didn't have every day the best grass on the field. And this was explaining what, uh, how I come up. And for this, I can understand how the kids go up here in Agra on the street. It was similar for me 50 years ago in Germany. But I was fighting and I like to give this experience, what I had in the young age, same to the players. And I was talking yesterday to a player, never give up, believe yourself, look in the future. But for the future, when you like to have results, you have to work very, very hard. You have to work stronger and better than others. And then you will get. Have football made you rich now? Yes. The legendary Luther Matthias, who Ghana football, say couldn't limit to and also invest in Accra Lions. Send away your much more developer talent Ama Ghana because talent is not very developer. If it me identify you know to move on from home body, you know to but any of our national team. So I had the idea to pass Luther Matthias. He's a world champion. Obviously, I'm going to go to football, especially Germany, German football. It's not a small thing. It's a huge step for Accra Lions. And I appeal to other clubs. There were 18 premier, uh, premier, premier clubs and it's our 48th uh, Division 1. 
some of these partnerships so that they will be able to develop themselves to the level that is required. They will be able to give the boys, the nurses and the girls, the necessary preparation and training. Some of these partnerships, they, have, they will bring facilities and equipment. So yeah, I appeal to them to emulate what Accra Lions is doing. Well, that's the way and yeah, Ghana your football on that yeah, like all the years. Uh, Accra Lions are people you winning. Know, because we uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a huge step. Six million euros is not a an small amount as far as uh, investment in any of the club is concerned. This is a huge uh, 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 partnership. So we want to congratulate the management and the board of Accra Lions for their vision to be able to get this partnership together and appeal to the rest to also emulate them so that they will be able to develop the, the football. We, we are blessed as a country to have talent in football. So once we have huge investments uh, in place, uh, the, 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 the sports ecosystem and the football ecosystem will take go to the next level. And our Premier our League too will be very competitive. And the government will, as on, on government side, government will continue to provide the needed facilities uh, like we have been doing all along. Especially, Unum say, almost 136 Asrutef in our various communities to develop football. We have also 10 youth resource centers, which we are always almost going to commission them also to support sports development. Then we have our stadia, which we are innovating to meet international standards to be able to develop. If you go to University of Ghana now, Legon Sports Stadium, we are just at the final stage of completing it. There is a huge, massive investment in sports infrastructure, all in effort to provide the necessary sports infrastructure for sports development. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, boy against Accra Lions, Ewo Ho. Miami Dreams, the ball ball against Accra Lions, Ewo The same facet, the same pitch, so the same environment. So, it's a very good Ghana football. And it's on that accord, I mean, it's a passion for football. Or to me to invest in football, to also join the, the team and to join other teams in, in, in Ghana by investing in more knowledge, or more network, or more seeker, because that is all that we need uh, for the Ghanaian game uh, to get to the where to get to levels. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, President.